I don't see how same-sex marriage really hurts anyone else. What, what's the harm? If Proposition 8 fails, there's a whole bunch of consequences. Did you know that churches that rent out their facilities for marriages could be forced to allow same-sex marriage ceremonies on their properties? And because the California Supreme Court has made same-sex marriage a fundamental right, legal defenses based on religious freedoms are less likely to succeed. If Proposition 8 fails, religious adoption agencies may be forced to place children in same-sex marriages or discontinue providing adoption services altogether. That's what happened with Catholic Charities in Massachusetts after its courts imposed same-sex marriage. Based on past experience, those who oppose same-sex marriage on religious grounds will be increasingly labeled as intolerant and subjected to legal penalties or social ridicule. It's already happening in the debate over Prop 8. Some who support traditional marriage are having their careers threatened. This won't be limited to California as its powerful influence is felt across the country. Did you know that nearly all public schools in California provide education about health and sexuality? If Prop 8 fails, children will be taught that marriage is between party A and party B, regardless of gender. Children will be taught that same-sex marriages are the equal of traditional marriages. There will be serious clashes between the public schools and parents who desire to teach their children their own values and beliefs. If Proposition 8 fails, it will affect everyone. For example, the change of the legal definition of marriage could narrow personal liberties. Some have already been lost, like photographers who prefer not to photograph gay weddings and doctors who prefer not to perform artificial insemination of gays, even when there are other willing doctors. It's been said, the right to swing your fist ends where my nose begins. You see, although the argument of redefining marriage is couched in happiness or equal rights, it's really about gaining control, forcing all of us to give up the very foundation of speech and religious freedoms on which this country was founded. Join me. Join all of us. Be wise. Be informed. It's our future. It's our children's future. Vote yes on Proposition 8.